everybody welcome back to my channel it's me felicia and i'm back with another video obviously and today's video is just gonna be a quote unquote rant okay i'm not really ranting about nothing negative right <laughs> like most rants be i just want to talk about self-esteem while wow. I just do my makeup obviously because it's just be weird just randomly talking I got my two pigtails up here today I watched black is king last night and this morning I was like I ain't put no wig on I'm warm close so oh my god I'm using a new primer oh my god before, before we get started subscribe join the family come back I'm gonna use my milk primer today. I always use my Too Faced primer, so I'm gonna I'm switch it up. I'm gonna shake the table. Try it. Try it. F with me if you want to. It's not a good day. Okay? Not this bad bitch is shaking one. the table. <laughs> and use my milk primer today. So, I want to talk about self esteem because this conversation has been brought up to me recently. Um. Uh, maybe about two or three times. So I was like, you know what? Let me just talk about it here. Um, Cause I think people sometimes get, some some people like get it confused with me. Like people think, oh my God, like I wish I could not care what people think like you did or blah, blah, blah. And blah, blah, blah. You know, this, what you guys see here, I came a long way. Like I came a, long freaking way it's honestly really like oh it's on me there we go it's honestly like revolutionary <laughs> i had very low self-esteem okay my camera cut off because i always run out of storage um yeah i was saying i came a really long way i still struggle like a lot with Self-esteem, like I think almost everyone in this world has at least one time. Um, and I don't know how it changed with me. Like, it's done a lot better. Don't know how, what I did. Like, I just, I just got fed up and tired of, you know, everybody. <laughs> like, I got really, really tired of everyone my neck home foundation and this shade i don't know if i always mention it this is 500 sway w sue w um that's the shade i use so i just don't care like if you live your life worried about what people think what do they do for you answer that do they pay your bills do they cook for you or did they buy you a car? Like, what do they do? Even if they did all that, their opinions do not matter. This is your life. You call the shots. You make the rules. Period. Point. Blank. Okay? Um, and if you just live your life worrying about what someone else think, no. No! You want to have a life. You want to have a life. You want to be too focused on what these mugs think we are true and they really don't matter to be honest like most people like that who always got something to say like they always he he ha ha kiki and stuff they really wish they can do what you did but they're too scared because they care what everybody think about them truth be told um so you get what i'm saying that's how I started to look at it. And what helped me a lot with my self image was like, I would go look in the mirror. Mirror. I would go, I would go look in the mirror and be like, ooh, you looking good today. Like literally tell myself because I don't want my confidence to come from people. My confidence gotta come from me. My confidence has to come from me. Like, cause if it comes from other people, when they stop giving you compliments or they just stop, liking your pictures or they just stop doing that you know like you're going to feel it because that's where your confidence comes from that's where your confidence comes from so a lot of people i'm trying to throw no shade i'm trying to throw no shade but i'm gonna throw it <laughs> A lot of people, 
confidence comes from media, okay? So let's talk about that for a second. I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit more. I know I shouldn't, but whatever. Um, more foundation because um, let's talk about the media for a second. We know the images the media pour track. Let's not pretend we don't know. Let's not, don't be that person. Do not be that person. Um, you know, for a long time, we have seen the media portray people who don't necessarily look like me as the beautiful, the well-spoken, the most educated um, ones, okay? Um, even in music videos, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm not even gonna speak on that too much because everybody be like, oh, you just hating when it's strictly facts. Never hate, I know who I am. I don't need to be in the scene to feel like I'm somebody like you do. But either way, just a little shade out there. Um, a lot of people, that's where their confidence come from. So when it's taken away for a split second, they hurt or they feel some type of way. You don't want to be that person. You don't want to be that person. I'm just going to say that. Because once they stop, your confidence stops. And you don't want to be that person. So I'm going to highlight with my Maybelline concealer. If we're a highlight, y'all know the routine. Anyway, I'm gonna continue this conversation when I put these on and be right back. I'm done with my eyebrows and I'm going to blend out my concealer. Forgot what I was talking about. So I think I was talking about the media. Over here listening to music, not paying attention. That's what happens, okay? But anyway, um do not let your confidence come from other people. Rule number one. Um that's a bad thing to do. And I know it happens, especially growing up at that age, around like high school, when you get compliments, you know, from everybody, if you are, like it's, you're gonna fall to that trap, I'm just saying. Like, try not to, try not to. But, um, it happens, it happens. Cause I know I fell into that trap. Like, I fell into that trap for real. Mm, mm, mm. Don't do it. Don't do it. But anywho, the reason why I said some people confidence come from social media, if you guys do not remember, I'm going to refresh your memory right quick. Um, remember when Brown Skin Girl, the song by Beyonce, we all know, first came out. And some people were upset about the song because why only highlight brown skin girls? Why not light skin girls? Okay. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Like you're not everywhere else. Can we have a moment, just a moment, to just feel nice and not being called Tar Baby or like something like that? Can we just have a little moment? Okay. I mean, that's what that's what happens. That's what happens. Okay. Quick, another. I just had to say that because that really bothered me when that happened. Like, really? You're anyway. Anyway, so I recommend if you're having trouble just feeling like who am I like do I really love myself like fall in love with you you know what some people do not take the time to fall in love with themselves and that's that's a problem that's a problem falling in love with yourself is very essential like it is very very important okay um because if not you're gonna be more susceptible to let people around you who don't, who is not good for you and your energy. You know what I'm saying? They're giving off bad energy. They're not, they're not, I mean, why? Why are you here? Why? Can you just focus on me? There we go. Why are you, why are you here? Like, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, you guys. So, I think I started realizing my energy was very, very important to me like two years ago, um, I was just like, I was to myself a lot. I'm always to myself really, to be honest. But I started to like, you know, try to hang around more people, fail, okay? It was like, it was just a complete fail because 
it was just drama. It's just drama. Like, I don't do that. I don't do drama because I know me, my first defensive mechanism is to what? These hands, okay? <laughs> drama i can't i have too much to lose like i have too much to lose too much going for myself too much money to be made i'm not trying to be around here with nothing i got stuff to do period point blank the best thing take time to yourself protect your <laughs> protect your energy period um and don't let nobody tell you you being stuck up or you being I come first, boo. I come first. And if you don't like that, you can hit the road, hit the door, okay? And please let it hit you on the way out because I don't even care. If it's okay? Because, I mean, you got to be, you got to be, learn how to be selfish, but in a good way. I'm not saying don't hang out with people at all and don't, you know, um, you know, just, um, what they call it? Isolate yourself, definitely don't do that. But I'm saying learn how to just protect your energy when you know something is off and something is not going not going good. Like if you can just feel like we if you start to pay attention to your body, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Just pay attention. Pay attention to the people you let around you. Learn how to say no. Boundaries. Boundaries, that is a big word boundaries okay your boundaries can play a huge part in your self-esteem if you don't set boundaries with people especially your family especially your family um things will go left things will just go left you're going to get walked over okay you're going to feel like trash that's where it starts and it's just going to go down here from there you have to set boundaries setting boundaries is not necessarily saying um, I'm a, I'm a selfish person. That's not, that's definitely not what it is. I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer so I can do my eyes, okay? <sighs> Sorry guys, I had a phone call. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to use my Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions palette just for something very simple. I love these colors in here and they're so pretty. Um, and they don't really have names, so I'm just gonna point to them just cuz. All right, so I'm gonna go with the bottom right, right here, right here, just to start, uh, you know, transitioning. <laughs> so I think I was talking about boundaries um, before I got my phone call. So enough of that, to be honest. Let's talk about what things you can do to try to build your self-esteem for yourself. Um, I feel like you should definitely do the, do the, listen, talk to yourself. Literally, there's nothing wrong with that. I talk to myself in the mirror. I look at myself in the mirror and be like, oh, you look so good. Um, I wear what I want to wear. I don't care about what nobody else thinks about what I wear, you know. You have to be confident in what you do. You have to wear your confidence in what you do. I am putting this color like damn near on my forehead. Like what? Oh well. Um. So that's why you guys was honestly, if you any of my friend like my friends know I wear I wear anything. We going to the store. I finna put on some shorts, some long socks, some slides. Like I don't care. I feel like I look good. Still, I feel like I look good. I mean, I don't have to be so dressed up just to feel like I'm, don't get me wrong, it feels nice to be dressed up and glammed up. Obviously, I love doing my makeup. I'm just saying, be confident in what you do and what you wear. Music, dancing, honestly, the arts. The arts definitely play a huge part in how I feel. Um, you, I was just cooking the other day in my kitchen. I had my AirPods in. I don't usually do that because I like to hear what's going on around me. But I did it for like a quick like 15 minutes because I was only cooking shrimp, right? And I was just dancing. 
I mean, it just it just feel good to be in there having fun by myself. That's the thing. Learning how to enjoy your own company. When I tell y'all, that's like, it plays a huge role in boosting your self-esteem, just enjoying your own company. Um, but definitely don't isolate yourself. Still go out, have fun. Like, talk to people. Do your best talking to people. I have social anxiety, so I only talk to who I like. Um, if I don't like you, I'm not going to talk to you. Um, I bet people wondering, well, how you know if you like them if you don't talk to them? <sighs> funny, funny question. <laughs> funny question. Um, I just... I try to warm up to people, you know, but if I just, if it's like been days that I just cannot warm up to you, it's just no, no shade, no tea, but I just can't, can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. I'm going to take the middle left, this dark, dark shade, which is very pretty, and put it on my lid. I said my lid, but I'm really doing my crease, to be honest. By my social anxiety. Ooh. Why y'all think I'm so comfortable being in a room by myself and talking to a camera? There's no one here. Like, there's no one, there's no one here. But living with someone, like when I was living with my uncle and tried to do YouTube, I had to make sure no one was there. Or if they were there, I didn't want them to hear me. And that's my family. And I still was like that. Like, I just can't do it. I can't do it. Um... <laughs> Gotta be confident, right? Look, I'm I need to take my own advice. But this is I've been working on this forever. Like that's why I tell people it's still hard for me. I wear it well out, but it is hard. It's hard. You gotta work on that. Stop caring what people think and stop negative talk. That negative talk to yourself gonna get you in trouble. Like, obviously it's already got you in trouble. Um don't do it. You see that? Why would somebody do that? Don't do it. Just stop. Stop. Don't do it. Start speaking like positive self-talk. Practice that. And it's, I say practice because that's a hard thing to do when you don't believe it. Okay? When you don't believe the positive talk you give yourself, it's very hard to do. So I'm telling like... I say practice self-talk because I have to practice it. That's what I do in the mirror, right? I practice self-talk. Like, sometimes I don't believe what I'm saying. Like, that ass. Like, I don't be believing what I be saying. And it really sucks. Let me go back in with that pink shade at the bottom. Just a little bit. And if you haven't, like, my last video when I did the SpongeBob, I didn't like that video. I really did not like my makeup in that video. But I uploaded it anyway because I was like... I'm practicing, I'm learning, I have to be confident in the process and the progress I'm doing. Way That's way better than what I did from years ago. So I uploaded it anyway. I'm like, nobody's negative comments about my makeup is going to stop me from doing my makeup. Like, period. Like, even my own. That's one thing you got to tell yourself. Even your own negative talk should not stop you from doing something. Go against the negative. Do the opposite. So if you're like, I can't do it, I'm scared, or something like that, do it anyway. Do the opposite of what your negative, depressing mind is telling you because that's what it is. Basically, depression and, you know, that low self-esteem really, sometimes it is caused by depression, to be honest. And... That's what it does. It lies to this. So you got to go against the lie. You got to go against the lie to fake it till you make it. Pretty much. That's what I'm trying to say. Fake it till you make it. Who I get that from? My high school flag, flag coach. I don't wonder what she doing. What was her name? Start with L. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> yeah. The final thing I really want to touch on, and this is going to be very, very hard to do. Burning bridges, okay, <sighs> with people that you've grown up with, your family, and your friends, okay. We don't like to admit that sometimes our friends play a huge role in our low self-esteem. 
okay? Sometimes your friends are just not your friends. If you feeling good about yourself and you're happy and someone comes with like, the first thing, like, let's say you be like, oh my God, I'm so happy I got the job. Well, I hope you like it. I hope you can stay there for longer than a month. I heard they, like, you can't just say congratulations. Or I got the job. Oh, right. Now that one is kind of tricky, just, I just feel kind of weird when people, the first thing they do is just ask questions. They don't congratulate you. They don't say they're happy for you. They just, you know, I don't talk to this one person anymore because, you know, you tell them, oh my God, I, um, I got an interview somewhere. I hope I get it. Oh, you shouldn't work there. You you should uh, just try to get another. I'm like, what? Like, that don't even make sense. Like, why are you saying that? And I'm, I'm happy as heck. I got the freaking interview as it is because it's hard to get an interview at this place and this person is just discouraging me and you know that plays a significant role in how you feel about yourself when the people you trust just being very mean and rude about it like so it's going to be hard to cut people off like I'm not saying that part is easy but this is your life this is this is you you deserve to feel good okay you deserve to be happy in your own skin. You deserve to feel beautiful in your own skin. Without worrying about what people, because people gonna talk. People gonna talk to the day you die and after you die. Believe me, the day you die and even after you're dead, they gonna still be talking. There's nothing you can do about it. You can curse somebody out, you can get mad, you can do all this. What is gonna do? They gonna talk. When you walk away and you can't hear them no more, because that's what punks do, that's what people do, insecure people who just, they need to be watching this video too, okay? That's what they do. They talk about people just, just so mean and just so negative. And the reason why I can say this, I've been that person. I've been that person. I was very depressed at one point. I mean, very, I mean, at one point in my life. And everything that came out of my mouth was just horrible. Everything. I mean, my friend got a new car, and I was like, how you gonna afford that? Like, I was just so naked, and you know what I did? When I went to therapy, I was in therapy, getting counseling about what I was going through. I apologized. I went to my friends, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry if I ever made you feel like you were less than, or if I just rubbed you the wrong way, I'm sorry, because that was me. You know, hurt people hurt people. And that's where the growth comes in, okay? That's where the growth comes out. What is it really hurting to let go of something that's holding you down? Nothing. Are you going to miss them? Yeah, you're going to miss them. Like, of course, you're going to miss them. But I, I'm telling you, for the greater good for yourself, do it. Evaluate your relationships with people. And I'm not talking about girlfriend, boyfriend relationships. I'm talking about everything, even your family relationships. Um, Let me sit. That's not my setting spread. This is my setting spread. I know I was rambling all over the place just because this this topic is always on my heart to be honest um and it definitely has been brought up with some people I know some people I cherish and I just wanted to you know I tell them all the time like whenever they come to me about oh my God, I just want to do this I want to do that but I don't look good and I'm like stop just stop you are beautiful like you have to, you can't you can't do that <laughs> You can't, I know it hard, it's, it's really hard to, to go against what your mind has been telling you for years. Or what social media plays, a big, I'm telling you, social media plays a big part in how we feel about ourselves. I unfollow a lot of people from Instagram because I just noticed, I was like, I'm looking at them and I'm like, dang, I wish I looked like that. I wish my body was like that. Whole time, they just got money. Like they had their, they had work done. I had to remove myself from that because I didn't want to get too, I was getting too wrapped up into that image and how everything looked. And I look at my natural body, how it is, and I'm like, I don't like it. You know, I wish I wish it was like that. I wish it was like that. So once I started to notice that, I was like, oh, mm -mm. I said, I had to cut that off, baby. I had to cut it off because I was not about to sit there and, you know, get wrapped up into that. I just, no, 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 no. So if you have to do that, 
social media, like them Instagram bodies and baddies with the, no offense to nobody who got work done. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, love your natural self. And if you want work done, because I know I eventually I might get work done, do it for you. Do it for you, not because you want to look like her or one of the girls in fashion over Jesus Christ. No. No. Like, that's, don't be extra. Like, oh, well, I can't tell you what to do, but I recommend. <laughs> Let me recommend. Let me make some recommendations. Um, Do it for you. Don't do it for no one else. So, if you've been thinking about doing it, ask yourself why are you doing it. Ask yourself why. And you say, I'm not happy. Ask yourself why you're not happy. Oh, because I look on it. There you go. That's your answer. I'm lining my lips with this Sephora Collection Rouge Gel Lip Liner and Molasses. I hate that name. I hate that name because I remember little, little. I remember when I was little, my mom used to say, you moving slower than molasses or something like that. And I'm just like, oh, stop it. <laughs> And these are really cheap. I think they're like eleven dollars or something. And of course, my Fenty is in there. <gasps> all right, guys, that is the end of this video. I know I was all over the place. I was just talking. I hope you took something from it, and I hope you like my pink look. I always do pink. I love pink. <laughs> so, um. I really want to, you know, just throw some ideas out there to help someone. I go, I went through the same thing. I'm honestly going, I'm honestly going through the same thing. Like I still do these things almost every day. So it helps me and I hope, you know, it can help someone. And I hope you took something, oh, I already said that. I hope you took something from this video and thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you subscribe by now, and I hope you be back for another video. I hope you like my pigtails, and I will see you on my next one. Bye.